Hello, hi, Namaskara. I am Rishabh Chardjian. In this video, I will be sharing an incident that happened to me when I went for a free service camp at Hyundai Service Center. Now, I didn't have any plans of making a video about the service camp. But unfortunately, there were things that kept on piling up problems, 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 which made me actually come and make a video like this. A job that was supposed to be done in 10, 20, 30 minutes max led me to almost three and a half hours and uh, instead of the free camp i actually had to pay to get a problem repaired that they created at the service center so there might be some mistake from my side too but i was not happy with the service uh, the free camp that they offered and that's why i'm making this video so before we start the question that i have for you is lot of manufacturers have this free service camps do you actually go to the service camps or most of the times they are like uh, just a way to get you to the service center and most of the time they don't do anything and get give the back back give the car back to you in the same way that it is let me know in the comment section below because this was something that i didn't know i thought that okay i'll go to that service camp maybe they'll just see the uh, like fluid stop up anything whichever is needed and give back the car to me so basically win-win for both uh, since uh, they want to advertise a bit their camp and my work also a little bit fluids will be topped up so this was a lot of hype created by uh, hyundai because you can see on their facebook page and other social media platforms they have been uh, advertising it hyundai free car care clinic even showrooms were posting it like on their social media even on their like service center outside they have so big big posters but let me tell you the experience was really really bad and where did this happen in bangalore i won't take the name of the service center but if you want to know which service center is it because this is the first time i have been to that service center and i don't normally get it serviced at that particular service center i do it at some other one but today because it was on the way i thought i'll just get it done because small thing so but anyways they created a big thing from that small thing and if you want to know the name uh, you can see my taking delivery of elite i20 video link will be in the description that is the showroom from where i have bought the car the showroom is really great no problems there but the service center was really not good and let me tell you the story now the story is going to be a little long because they kept on creating problem on problem on problem and whenever i think about it the from the start till the end they created so many problems that it led to real frustration and uh, whenever i tell this thing to anyone there are they are like how can so many steps go wrong so let me start anyways if you want this video to reach more people click on the like button i want this video to reach hyundai so that they know what is happening at the dealer level they have been promoting this uh, free car clinic car care clinic from 12 to 21st you can come they will do these many point checkups but when you come go to the service center it is completely different story they are least bothered about you coming for that free car care clinic the um, behavior that they showed was that this is a waste of time man we have so much work to do why you are coming for this free car care clinic we don't do this free work and all if you want get the service paid one that is simply why you are coming we are busy people here so let me tell you what happened exactly so i went to the service center this happened on 15th april 2019 afternoon so i called them around 12 o'clock to check whether what is the time i should come for this free car care clinic is it at all times available or is there a fixed time so i called them by phone and they told me that come after 12 o'clock sir uh, we'll get the free car care clinic done so i came to the sh that service center at 225 i go inside you can see the moment you enter the showroom there is a big poster this free car care clinic 12 to 21st and uh, general my perception was that they will have a separate area in the service center where they will be doing this or service tent or something they would have kept separately not mixing it with the normal servicing so i entered the showroom they gave me a slip the service center they gave me a slip and i entered I entered and there was like they told me to go inside I went inside but there was no separate nothing no other board inside telling me service 
camp is going on here or service clinic nothing everyone is doing their work half the people is not no like no one is there i go inside i don't know what to do like normally you can see like uh, someone comes and yes sir uh, do you want to do servicing or something but that day like no one is coming i am just i came inside i parked in the middle of the way like that is where the cars go for servicing and all i st stopped there and like no one is coming so i waited for 2 3 minutes uh, like looking whether anyone will come no one comes then one of the hyundai guys was walking and he was taking some of the cars so i asked him uh, Uh, excuse me uh, where can i get this free car care clinic done so don't me go to the reception so i saw okay there, there's the reception so i went inside i met the person there and i, I told her that uh, I, i have come here for free, free car care clinic so she told me <coughs> please wait sir so i sat there 20 minutes gone no one is coming and she is calling almost like she called many people i won't say that they were sitting simply she called many people but there was no one there was no service advisor at the service center this is the story <laughs> there was no service advisor and uh, she called so many people everyone was out for lunch all right and i waited there for 20 minutes she is calling everyone she is telling them also how can everyone be out for lunch how is this and she actually i think she didn't have lunch it was like for them it is like lunch break half half split something so she didn't have lunch so she was asking someone else also that i need to go for lunch but where is my replacement person so this all happened for 20 minutes already i was getting impatient here because i thought the work will be 20 30 minutes already 20 minutes gone no one is coming then suddenly out of a blue one person comes sir i have made a job card for you please wait and he goes off i'm like what is happening here i i i want to know what are you going to do what is this free car clinic what and all will happen is it really free or i have to pay for something at least tell me what is it no one even saw the car this just took something this guy came told and went again 20 minutes done now almost 45 minutes done no one is coming i'm waiting 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 then suddenly the manager comes and he is talking uh, to someone else and he comes and i am like waiting around i'm just roaming around like what is happening there's no one else so he asked me sir you have any problems i told him i am waiting here from last 45 minutes one guy comes tells me job card is done and goes off and after that i'm waiting here what is happening so then he is like oh yes sir don't worry uh, then he calls that other service advisor and he tells him sir i told you job card done so i told him what job card done you tell me what is happening what are you going to do at least like tell me the process what is going to happen i don't know what is this free car care clinic and you are making some job card or something and you are going off and i'm standing here then that uh, manager is explaining the service advisor you should tell the customer this this but let's say end of the story nothing they told zero then again waited then this guy came sir come sir uh, we'll do we'll do the service cam so we went to the car then i told him i have uh, so he was like give me the keys we'll do so i told i have some problems can you also check that so I told okay sir he'll tell me so i told him there were two problems actually one uh, problem was uh, let me just show you so here's the first problem if you can see here uh, my front left wheel camper something has gone out of alignment so i had gone to the alignment center somewhere else outside uh, mrf authorized service center and uh, like authorized this uh, dealer and they had done the alignment and they had told me that sir your left camper something is problematic you go to your service center and they'll get it done they have to fix some two screws somewhere i don't know exactly where and they'll get it done you just ask them so i told this guy first so he told okay we'll check that and second problem that i had was that the last time if you remember i have spent almost 33000 rupees for servicing this car last time when it crossed 80000 kilometers and uh, that time they had changed the timing belt if you want to see that video you can find it here somewhere in the i button or in the description below and uh, that time they had changed the timing belt but let's just say 
now every day in the morning when i start the car first time it starts making like this sound it starts making and even when you start the ac the sound comes for some few minutes and then it stops so i told him can you please check that also because if you see in your records this timing belt was changed by the same like brand name of the service center not this one but the brand name is same so can you please check so they're like okay we'll check then they're like taking the car one more third person was taking the car i told him can i also go and see because this is a service cam so can i also see what you'll be doing so he told no no sir it's not possible uh, please take your valuables so i was like uh, why it's not possible service cam so no no it's not possible so i thought okay fine maybe they have some policy they can't take me for this service whatever car clinic they are gonna do so valuables i thought i'll take my bag was there so i thought i'll take my bag i didn't think other what and all they'll check i thought they'll only see under the engine bay and uh, other than that they won't see anything else so i thought let's just keep everything because he also didn't check the car because if i would have known that uh, they are gonna do like a servicing thing like how servicing is done then i wouldn't have come for this free car care clinic because you know i am a youtuber and i keep lot of my accessories cameras in the car and i don't leave the car to someone else and i didn't want to leave it that day also but i thought okay 20 minutes what they will do much and nothing valuable was there some accessories were kept in the car and i thought okay won't be much they won't see inside the car much i can trust this is a de authorized dealer so i gave the car to them i waited for again 20 30 minutes from here the main problem started so again that guy came back and i actually didn't like that guy's behavior he was behaving as if he's doing me a favor by taking the car like yes sir come sir I'll take sir this. Arre, i have seen other service centers how they behave this guy was behaving as if he's doing a favor to me if you're doing a favor i don't want i'll take my car outside what is this you are providing free car care clinic and you are behaving as if it's a favor to me sorry i don't need that favor if you are providing a service, provide it like how you provide your uh, paid service or free service when it's a new car. Don't do a favor to me. That guy was behaving like that. So anyways, he came, he showed me the job card, told me, sir, no problem, sir. These are some problems like back switch, uh, window switch and some other thing was uh, wrong. But other than that, it's all okay. And uh, regarding that, he didn't tell me whether he repaired the problem which I told him or not. So I asked him, this uh, camper one, is there anything done? So he then told me, oh yes, sir, this is your copy, the one I showed you. I gave it to him, so he gave me back. He like, drive, sh uh, drive shaft needs to be changed, that will cost. Uh, so that one, because of that, this one is wrong. So first I thought, the uh, alignment guys had told something else. This guy is telling something else, but maybe this might be wrong so i asked him how much price Twelve thousand rupees it seems plus labor i was like thank you so much i won't get it changed i'm pretty happy little bit it is shaking the left tire but that's fine <laughs> i don't want to spend twelve thousand now already i've spent thirty three thousand last time repairing all this thing i don't want to send twelve thousand now it's less than six months so he gave me back the car getting the car back again took more 15 minutes i don't know he's like i'll ask the driver to get the car are boss you get the car then you call me why you are calling me before getting the car and simply why you are calling me if there is no problem again he went off 15 minutes waiting 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 wait after that car comes he moves the car towards the gate and he gives me, I told him, no problem, right? Everything done? He's like, yes, sir, everything done. I tell him, uh, like, properly, thank you so much. And uh, he leaves. The moment I enter the car, USB pen drive was fixed on the music system. That is gone. I don't know how can an authorized service center have people that is stealing from the car when if you see on the news so many times you would have seen auto rickshaw someone leaves something valuable like suitcase of cash this that and they are giving back the thing back to the owner you might have seen in taxis also people leave and they give back to the owner you might have seen many news like that and here in authorized service center of Hyundai they are stealing. 
so i told him this is missing and he's like no 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 sir i think uh, you didn't have it i'm like i am 100% sure it was there before giving the car then he's like oh sir maybe while doing this uh, service uh, this thing free car clinic it might have fallen somewhere i'm like what the hell <laughs> i am coming to you to do this you are not even seeing what is there and you have misplaced it i'm like sorry boss it was in the car if it has fallen somewhere you check it if someone has taken it you check it but i am 100% sure before giving the car it was here after you took the car it is gone please get me back my pen drive i am not leaving here without that pen drive it was costed me around 600 700 rupees but thing is not the pen drive amount or pen drive the thing is how can something like this be taken during this uh, free car catering i'm not giving for a servicing or paid service or anything if they would have told me sir this is servicing please remove all the items like this manual uh, car papers when you give for servicing you almost remove everything from the car clean if they would have told me sir you have to clean the car you can't leave it. anything in the car i would have told that thank you so much i don't want to do this free car care clinic but they didn't tell me that even my helmet other things are kept in the car that guy was so busy that in the start he missed the step of checking the car he just saw the dashboard some papers were there he was like okay that's fine and i told him helmet and this thing is there like and ah, that's fine okay but i didn't think that this usb is going to be a valuable thing so anyways now my usb is missing i was really pissed off that how can a usb go off what to do now someone has stolen it in hyundai showroom like service center i told him i'm not going i need the usb back i'm going to talk to the manager so i went spoke to the manager manager was pretty good he spoke very nicely i don't have any problems with him he came out he also checked the car so he also asked me again whether i had the pen drive or not and he is telling me that sir it's not possible if pen drive was there then no one would have taken it it must have been here only or must have fallen in the floor of the car we checked it was not there so the manager asked the service advisor to check again and he went service advisor is calling many people okay called many people and uh, searching for the pen drive this is going on again service advisor is gone basically the whole time no one is there to take care of like stay with me every time they are gone they are fully busy taking calls again and again okay i am not like doubting them okay they are busy but at least clear my doubts before going not really again they are gone so i am now full tension usb is gone why did i come here first of all i am like having second thoughts waste of time so anyways now i am waiting and the windows are open okay they kept the front two windows open and back window is little bit half way down so i'm like uh, i'll just put the windows up and then go back inside to the manager's cabin so i try to put the window up front two windows come up back window is not coming up it's making kid 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 sound but it's not coming up i am then i see i had a camera mount that was fixed to the back glass okay i didn't expect them to like use the windows and all and check this and all so i didn't remove that mount i actually forgot that there is a mount there i should have asked him should i remove this and he also didn't check my mistake i i agree that i didn't remove it i didn't check the car but that guy who was taking the service advisor who was taking my car he didn't even check the car once like anything i need to take or anything is there inside the car it stuck so the mount the down part is stuck on the window end line so i understood because of that this window is not coming up i removed the mount then i tried putting the window up it won't come up it is only making sound kir 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 but it won't come up i am like shit what is happening man usb is gone back window is also now not working and i have wasted almost one and a half hours here now i was kind of tensed nervous and also feeling like regret of coming to this service center to do that free car care clinic again went to the manager 
I told him my back window is not working. Then the survey advisor comes. He's like, sir, I told you, no, sir, this uh, back switch is problem because of that. Told back switch problem I know from last time when the service charging was given for 33,000. Even that time they told me the switch was problematic. So the window was going slowly up and down. But now the window is not working. And I know the reason there was a mount there which you didn't tell me to remove when I was giving the car my mistake also but anyways you didn't tell me to remove the thing and with that you tried to put the window down it got stuck while giving the car you didn't even tell me that it is stuck okay this was something i didn't discuss there but later on when i'm making this video i realized that they didn't even tell me that the window has stopped working they just gave me back the car like that okay so i have heavily doubt that they even did anything just took the car inside and got it back they did some window up and down spoiled this and got it back because how will i know what they did huh? what what did they do they didn't even give me a slip that they have topped up this this was less that was there nothing no report at the end i asked him will you give me a report of what and all you have checked and what and all was less or something problematic sir no sir that is uh, not there that is uh, only some tick 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 was there i took a picture of that you can see here but what is that tick 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 was anything done top up or not i don't know now i know this video is going long but i have to share this with you all so where was i window so he's like switch is gone sir because of that so i told him switch no no switch and all the window was top and before that i was using the window it was working slow but it was working now the window is not working please do something he's like no no sir switch 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 then i told him at least because i what i thought was that maybe the motor is stuck in that position if they try to put it up the window will start working again so i asked him can you at least put the window up i can't keep the car like this with that window halfway can you put it up so he's like uh, okay 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 then he started calling his service guy he came so how they put the window up they caught the window like this and they put it up like this okay then i tried putting the window that's it it's not working gone i was really like feeling bad that i came here to do something else and they spoiled the car and i didn't want to spend any money there so that's it over window is not working i went to the manager again you have done this you didn't even tell me to remove i didn't know what you are going to do neither you explained me anything now this has happened i know i didn't remove it i didn't know i have to remove it but now window is gone can you please at least open the window thing and check if anything has gone wrong if the switch is gone it's okay i won't change it but i won't see it's your fault but if something is gone in that window part down someone has got something has got out of track can you please check and get it done because before coming this was working properly now i don't want that window to stay like that or not working so i was like yes sir uh, i can't do it today i'm very busy please come tomorrow i like please can you do it today tomorrow again like sorry sorry can't do today and between all this some time back first time when i went to the manager i told them all the story of this waiting at the start that ha that happened before giving the car and then he called the service advisor the receptionist and he told them what is this happening what is that happening all that story i'm not going to share because that was useless to me why is he telling me like why is he scolding when in front of me you take care of that I am just here to give you my feedback. Why you are scolding them in front of me? I told, I was telling you also, no sir, no sir, let me tell them. Okay, you tell pa. Anyways, he told, after this, this problem, the main problem that I had, now in between all this also, I went out. So after first, second, first time I went out. So suddenly one guy comes and gives the service advisor the pen drive, okay. Now I know the story is so complicated that even when I have to tell I am thinking twice or three because they made so many mistakes and so many things that it's like a complex movie with so many plot twists that even I have to think twice what and all happened because they kept on doing problem 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 problem. <sighs> Never has happened with me in last 10 years so many problems hasn't happened at Hyundai. This service center is the one who created it. Alright. 
so in between all this i went out and that is when the service advisor one guy came and gave the service advisor the pen drive and he gave me and what he told the service advisor the guy who gave us that sir actually while doing this thing we removed it and we wanted to give it to the service advisor but they didn't give after that they didn't know whom to give because they couldn't find the service advisor so they had kept it now they gave them and they gave me i knew that was all nonsense simple in words it's all fake they had taken it thinking that no one will see the owner will realize later and think that he has lost it on its own okay this was the basic trick that happens a lot right we don't remember that that is there afterwards he'll think that maybe we lost it somewhere but this time i was 100 percent sure so they gave me back the usb but okay usb i was pretty happy but my trust was gone with the showroom like that service center that if next time something I leave by chance, by mistake also, I leave something in the car that I might not notice, something valuable, they will take it. Okay. They will take it. Okay, fine. Now, I, I got the pen drive, but my window was up, but it was not working. I went really sad that day that I wasted so much, almost two, and two to two and a half hours I wasted here. I don't know anything they worked, any work they did or not. But at the end of the day, my window is not working. Pen drive was almost lost and I got it back. And I have to come back tomorrow again, waste time coming to this service center. Though it is on the way, but not exactly, it, I don't come on the route again and again. Little bit diversion I have to take and come. So anyways, 16th, sorry, uh, yeah, 16th April Tuesday. Around 12 o'clock, I go back to the showroom. I call the manager before to ask him, can I come or not now or are you busy or something? He tells me to come. So I go to the showroom. All right. Again, I directly go to the manager now. He tells you, he calls someone service advisor and uh, they do open the win back door. At least everything was done fast, but they open the back door and the moment uh, they open, they come to know that channel divider is broken okay channel divider is broken no switch nothing that yesterday service advisor was telling no switch is gone switch is gone channel divider was broken that is why the window is not coming up and down so this new service advisor is like it'll cost around 800 to 1000 rupees that thing is broken so it was uh, told now what to do over it's broken now what to do i have to get it changed so i told okay fine get it changed i saw that uh, channel divider was actually rusted but i know it wouldn't have broken it would have gone for at least few months guaranteed no doubt about it this guy is because of that mount getting stuck it came out of the channel and that is why the thing broke change it it took another half an hour this process of servicing thing today at least on the second day they did well the service advisor didn't speak much but at least he did his job well and after this they gave me a bill gave me a bill i don't have the bill currently but the bill came off around 416 rupees for the channel divider and some steel strip or something i was like can something be done because you have broken it during your servicing so i went and spoke to the manager spoke a lot told him this and all happened but they were only concerned that the thing channel divider was rusted so we can't do while using it broke Whereas I knew while using it didn't break because of that mount was fixed and you didn't remove it. Neither you asked me that something is fixed. Can you remove it? It broke. And then that manager is telling we have this uh, terms and conditions. Uh, we asked to remove all valuables. Uh, then he's asking the service advisor should have told you this terms and conditions. But he didn't tell. So all this kichidi they did. At the end of the day, I was asking them like, if you can get this taken care of i don't want to pay the money because i have come without a problem in that left power window and after you have done this checkup 
you have got that problem and now you have to change this so can you please at least take care of that like no not possible there are some 50 checks you have to do you have to remove everything in the car uh, you have you should have taken if there is any accessory you should have told us so that we would have not put that window down so i told him how will i know that you will put the window down this is not servicing this is free service this car clinic normally in other camps they do the thing in front of us it's a separate place where they do and it happens they don't do that much thing like in extensively don't check any top ups they do and give it back if there these are all things you had to do you should have checked the car properly and they told me that remove it at least should have explained me that we'll check this 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 electrical this and that so that i would have removed it but no neither the service advisor saw neither the mechanic who checked all this saw that something is wrong we should tell the service advisor no no one told anything they broke it and finally the manager didn't agree that they'll refund me or they'll take care of that amount i had to pay 416 rupees for a problem that they created because they didn't check the car and you saw so many things went wrong like khichdi they did problems khichdi and afterwards i had to pay that price at the end of the day i was like doubtful should i make this video or not but after that i thought they did so much problem was i happy at the end no because they didn't even pay for the problem that they created i went for the free service camp and they made me pay 460 rupees for a problem that i didn't have before giving the car i need to inform all of you and also hyundai if they are watching anyone from hyundai watches their video that this is what happens at your service center you have created a scheme that was good so that all hyundai owners can come and get their car checked but at the service center they were least bothered so i even asked him that why don't you have a separate space for getting this car clinic done if you see another any other manufacturer whenever they have like this camps they have a separate place where they do this they don't club it with servicing but here he was like so only three four cars came today also only three four cars came we don't want to waste any person three persons we don't want to keep separately for this free car clinic we want to use everyone efficiently so that is why whenever anyone comes we will take in the service thing only then he was showing me also that in that slip the serial number was 58 or something he was like so your number is 58 actually but uh, we have to do this fast that is why this and all kichidi something something he told <sighs> very complex so i was like 58 number is for servicing for free car clinic separate thing should be there only who are waiting for the free car clinic don't club everything but you are clubbing it anyways at the end of the day something that i learned personally was not to go for any free car care clinic from at least hyundai side because if this is what they will do next time like i wasn't prepared to go for the free car care clinic thinking it's like a servicing that i need to clean my car remove everything and give it because if it was that i wouldn't have given i thought in my normal routine i'll go they'll check the car in front of me and give it back but that didn't happen well this was my learning so that next time i don't repeat it if you want something to share if, if you think something i was wrong or something i didn't share that proper or some mistake might have happened comment below so that everyone else can learn that's it for this video i know it became a little long but what to do the problem were so long that i have to share it in detail i hope i've shared everything so anyways after that the window started working but i had to pay this 416 rupees and the whole experience was bad so if you found this video informative don't forget to hit on that like button share this video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon now finishing this video let me tell you hyundai servicing is not what i'm questioning today my question is the free car care clinic if hyundai was doing it there should be a process to do it there should be a steps that should be given to the service center that needs to be followed if they do in some kichidi manner like this 
at the end of the day someone gets some kind of service someone gets some other kind of service and people will go unhappy doing this free car cleaning yeah that's it bye bye